So this minimally invasive procedure, uh, the mini bunion is indicated for mild and moderate bunions, not the severe bunions, but the mild and moderate bunions. X-ray. So there's the level of the neck of the first metatarsal. We're going to do a, a line across here, right along my uh, wire, so I know where the exact level of the uh, neck of the first metatarsal is. And we're going to do on a lateral, also mark the uh, lateral tran uh, mid diaphyseal line of the first metatarsal. There we are. So where these lines intersect is simply where you're going to put your wire to uh, insert your wire for your um, placement of your osteotomy. So this wire is going to indicate the level of the osteotomy. We're going to put the wire in. I'm going to check under fluoroscopy to see if I'm at the level that I want to be. X-ray. So now we're going to make an incision. Usually it's about an inch incision right along the uh, plane of the um, marking. And this is, again, half above the incision, half above the wire, half below the wire. I'm making it a little bit larger for demonstration purposes. But as you get more accomplished, uh, wouldn't you agree, Dr. Campbell, you can make this smaller and smaller? Absolutely. Well, so this is a special targeting guide. Uh, your thumb or finger can use it to rotate, angulate uh, the capital fragment. So what we're going to do is mount this device um, on the distal first metatarsal. As shown here, the, f the flat aspect of the device goes against both the head and shaft of the first metatarsal. So it looks like you have that slightly internally rotated. Is that intentional on the medial side? Exactly. So dorsal medial, so we can get it out of the way of our uh, osteotomy and our incision. This, this way, just a little okay. x-ray. X-ray there. Very good. So we're in the capital fragment here. So that's going to be good. And we're going to place Go two, two wires. X-ray there. there yeah, that looks good. And this allows us to have a reduction tool after we complete the osteotomy. I think this is a really nice addition to the uh, mini bunion set. One of the trickier parts of this surgery, in my experience, has been having that mobile capital fragment um, dancing around a little bit. All right, so now we have an osteotomy guide. This is a saw osteotomy. You can also do it with multiple drill hole and an osteotome, which I've done in the past. Uh, but what happens is, is the, um, the saw cut allows you uh, for easier translation and rotation uh, as opposed to the uh, multiple drill hole osteotome osteotomy, both of which heal uh, very similar. So surgeon choice. Now we're going to put this guide in so it's 90 degrees um, to our lateral um, line and 90 degrees to the sagittal plane of the um, so what I'll do is I'll bend these uh, wires to allow my uh, saw to enter into the guide. And we're going to protect the skin as we do our osteotomy. Again, uh, two ways to do this. Uh, you can do basically create a trough or um, a starting uh, cut and then finish it off after you remove the guide. Or you can just um, cut it through and through. There we go. Yep. There's our osteotomy. Now we're going to remove our uh, osteotomy guide here with the Houston passer here. Uh, this is a, a, su a suture passer. Uh, so this will be used at the end of the, the case to capture the medial capsule and reef the medial capsule, which is, again, I find uh, a little bit uh, the art of the bunion where you really realign that joint the uh, trajectory or the path we want to put the implant. So we go in through the medial cortex here, x-ray with a freer elevator, uh, and we can see that we can get the translation we desire. So what that allows for us to do is then capture with the oblique screw, which we're going to show you here in a minute. Um, you enter in with the implant, kind of side to side rocking it as you insert it. And Dr. Campbell mentioned we need to make sure it's straight. That's a little bit too angled. I'm going to straighten that out a little bit because what that allows for is exactly that. So you see that it's um, more central down the shaft. 
What we're going to do is use the mallet to tamp it in just a little bit deeper. It has to be at the neck of the implant at the uh, level of the osteotomy. Right there, just a tiny bit more. X-ray there, uh, where the screw will lie, X-ray. And you can see if you're not as straight, you'll never catch that lateral cortex so much if it's more angled, so you want to keep straight. We'll drill that. The oblique screw here, we're going to just do it snugly, not too, not too tight. And at the end, we'll add a little bit more compression. So that does advance the screw, as you mentioned, Dr. Campbell. So we want to be careful uh, not to advance it too far, uh, at least this first time, as I'm showing here. And if we have extra threads through the other side, I haven't had that uh, uh, be a problem from a clinical standpoint. So now we're going to add the um, reduction device. And what this will help us do is control the capital fragment. It is a uh, complete osteotomy, so we want to make sure we're um, rotating, angulating, and translating into the appropriate position at this point. So now what I usually do is I kind of uh, grab the reduction device and rotate it internally here a little bit, um, or externally, and that rotates the sesamoid apparatus. Once I'm happy with the sesamoid position, I can also do some angulation here. So as, as I turn the device, it'll angulate the metatarsal head, x-ray. And what's great is, since it's flush with the metatarsal here, um, then I can um, keep the head of the metatarsal level with the shaft of the metatarsal, so we're not going to induce any sagittal plane uh, translation of the osteotomy. The other thing that I really like this, uh, this device for is when you're putting that locking screw in that we're going to show in an upcoming step, it creates a torque on the head and this really uh, mitigates that torque and keeps the, the rotation where you'd like it. So let's take an x-ray, let's look at those wire placement, oh, I'm just going to a little proximal x-ray, good. Good. Yeah. Lock the distal segment, uh, the capital fragment. So now, x-ray. So we'll need a 20 screw for that. Yep, all through the far core. Again, I don't think there's a lot of um, risk if the thread tip is just through the cortex. Excellent. And as Dr. Campbell measured, me mentioned, as we tighten this uh, screw, it's gonna wanna rotate the capital fragment in the sagittal plane. So we wanna lock it in here to the uh, plate the intermedullary device, but also uh, I typically hold the metatarsal head as I'm tightening it, but also as Dr. Campbell mentioned, we have this external device which is maintaining our capital uh, fragment position. Good, good beautiful. sagittal alignment, yep. And then we'll check the AP. X-ray there. And good AP alignment. Now we'll remove these. So as I tighten this, it is compressing the osteotomy. What's nice about this device is it has the ability for you to suture the capsule too. So what I'll do here, here's the, um, the passer, we'll pass the suture through the passer here, as shown, and what we'll do is take it through the passer and pull the passer through the uh, implant. So now we have this direction of capsular pool. So now we're going to come through and we're going to grab some of this and we're going to come through the incision medially, grab kind of this plantar capsule and I kind of sh uh, stretch the skin as distal as possible to grab some of this uh, medial capsule because we want to correct this uh, transverse plane correction. So we'll come through the capsule here and then what we can do is basically take the capsule and again we'll try it here and by tightening that we can uh, pull the capsule medial so that's that's the concept where now what we can do is make sure that we uh, reef the medial capsule as well to correct some of the hallux abductus angle so now we can see that it's uh, translated uh, we got the rotation correct it's uh, locked uh, with the uh, implant, got the soft tissue balancing, and all through 
basically a medial one inch incision without interrupting the capsule other than maybe the, the lateral capsule release.